Hello, welcome to Straight to the Point Tutorials. Jose says hello from Madrid, Spain. Today I will be talking about the new update in Luminar Neo. Okay, welcome back. As I said, I will be uh, reviewing the new update of Luminar Neo. It's version 1.4.0. Um, that includes one important tool. We have been waiting for this tool for a while and that tool is the clone tool along with other uh, updates and bug fixes that they have included in this update. But I will focus this, um, this review slash tutorial in the use of this clone tool. So without further ado, let's get into the computer and check it out. All right, they have this image open uh, in, in Luminar Neo. So I will proceed to click on edit and go to tools. All right, <clears throat> if you don't know what the clone tool is, you can stay here in the video and I will explain a little bit about the cloning process. If you already know, you can fast forward the video and see the tool working. So basically the, the clone stamp tool is a tool that we use in, in, in certain programs like Photoshop and some others to copy certain parts of the photograph and paste those parts in other parts of the picture. In other words, we can use this tool to fix things, erase, duplicate, copy, complete, you know, a series of things that you need to probably do um, at any time when you are uh, retouching the photograph. The, the, the great thing about the clone tool, as I said, is that it lets you specifically select an area you have control of what area you want to select and paste so basically the clone stamp tool would let you do that okay so let's uh, go into the computer and see the tool working okay so i have this image open here it's a very simple image it's a background with a stop sign in the middle i already have the tool in my favorites right but if you install the update, and let me remove from the favorites, if you install the update, then the tool is going to be under the professional tool set. It's gonna be here, but since this is one tool I might be using a lot, I will right click over it and add the tool to the favorites. So I have it in here. So let's open the, the, the tool. Very simple as everything in Luminar Neo, not complicated. We have the size of the brush, the softness or feathering and the strength okay so i will cover those in detail the size is just the size you know very simple if you see the circle in there that's the that's the size of the brush the inner circle is the more intense or the strength you have set and then from the inner circle to the outer circle is the feathering okay or the softness that, as they call it okay and the strength is obvious, it's the pressure, you know, the stamp is going to be full, 100%, 50 or whatever percentage you want to apply. Let me start with the softness in zero. And the size, about close to the size of the stop sign, okay? So I have this size. So once I move the tool here, I have this little cross, it looks like a, a name. You see the, the label that says, click the set to set the source. So if I click here in the middle of the stop sign, it already copy or sample uh, this part. It's telling me the part it is copying. So if I move here and I click once, so it's a hundred percent strength and the area that I copy, right? So let me undo that. So that's the first. So if you have softness in zero, you will have a perfect circle. So let me undo, and I will put the softness now in 50%. I will click the middle. Now I click here. So that's the softness of 50%, you know, a 50% softness. You know, you see the transition between the edge and the, and the, and actually the middle part of the brush or the center. Okay, if I were to now use it at 100%, and I copy again, you see, that's 
at a hundred percent so the transition is really soft okay so that's the effect of softness so what about now strength if i were to put the strength at zero if i click in here nothing is going to happen right now let me move this to 50 percent so if i click again here 50 percent strength is more transparent so you're getting the point guys so here is a combination depending on what you want to copy and paste there is a combination of these two settings the softness and strength i typically work with this softness or feathering close to 100 okay unless i want something uh, specific but i barely use uh, the softness at zero and the strength so that combination between the strength and the softness will you know will help you get excellent results all right so let me reset this and um go to a, a strength at 100 percent softness 100 percent and then we have the, the result that we uh, saw on the initial when we were testing the softness okay so where to use this when it depends on what you want to fix but in using this same picture i will do something here if I were to erase this stop sign, let me use the erase tool here. Okay, I'm selecting the entire stop sign with the erase tool. And then I will click erase. So, as so you can see, there are several things in here that need to be fixed. For example, I missed this part of the sign, uh, and then it's obvious that something was erased from this photograph. The clone tool can help me a lot in here. Look, if I switch now to the clone tool, like this, and then I set a size, not too much, for example, there, and then I reduce a little bit the softness. I maybe be able to copy from here and start pasting there you see where the aim is and then pasting so the the stamp or the cloning moves with the brush okay so you see now it looks much better if i were to click i want to, want to sample again i'll press the alt key alt key in my keyboard and click and then i sampled a new area that i want to paste in here since I'm having the strength of 100%, I'm only using one click. So let's test it with this area here, okay? I will reduce the size. Again, start sampling. I will hit Alt, click, and then start copying. See, now it's better. One thing about the clone and cloning and stamping is that there will be a tendency to form patterns, right? And you have to be aware of that because otherwise it will look strange, right? So if I were to fix this part, I would probably click in here and then maybe um, I reduce the, the strength and the size of the brush and start sampling from here and then from here just to make the transition or to have it look more natural like this, all right? And you can do the same with this area. If I increase the size and I click in here, I can get I will get the strength back to 100. I click here. I'm just sampling that area, you see? But the pattern is happening. Um, let me stop here for a while, all right? What happens if I need, if I by mistake, uh, click on something that I don't want to to, to clone right and I already cloned it well that's a drawback and that's a situation that we have with this tool in Luminar Neo there's no control Z I cannot undo and that's not good because if I cannot undo uh, the only option I have is to reset you know revert all the changes and then I will need to start all over again and that's something that I think that needs to be addressed and fixed otherwise i think that you will not be that efficient in this tool 
because if you I already spent five minutes six minutes cloning and stamping here and then I made a mistake here and I want to fix it so the option I have is to reset or start doing things on top of this one that might be the option but sometimes you don't want that to happen that's a problem with this right but I think you get the point right now of cloning and stamping all right okay so we'll with that one done I will test it on uh, on skin you know this is not the best method to actually you know work on skin but I will give it a try because you know, the, the, these are obvious uh, imperfections that can be clone stamp before any processing or, you know, more uh, complex uh, skin retouching. But so I will open the clone tool and let me start with this one here. Let me check the size. I think it's OK. If I click this area, I want to clone strength 100 percent. It's not bad. It's not that bad. Probably I can reduce the the uh, the strength and the size i can start sampling i'm clicking alt you know just to copy from an area so it's not bad here maybe a smaller size to be more precise okay here here this can be a previous step, you know, to move then to the skin part. Let me work on this one just to remove the prominent or visible ones in here, like this here, right there. So I'm just cloning from one side to the other. I think that strength is okay and the softness as well it's not perfect but the plan here is just to move or to take this photograph to or i mean just the plan i just came with <laughs> right is to take this photograph to um through the skin fixing or the skin artificial intelligence of luminar neo so that's the way it works. It's not perfect, right? It needs a lot of, of work in here. Maybe if I lower the strength more, open the softness, and I, I copy from here, I can drag and try to, you know, um, feather or integrate the tones because the problem here are the tones, right? So looking much better. Well, let me switch to the skin retouching under the portrait uh, tools. This maybe is the cloning, the first part, will be a great complement for skin. So I will click in here. I will click skin and put an amount of 60. Skin defects removal. Oh, I think it's not, it's still working. It's not that bad, look. Maybe you take more time in the clone part, the skin can help you a lot. See, it's kind of integrating the tones. Mm -hmm. So that's a way to use the clone stamp tool or the clone tool here in Luminar Neo. I think that it's great. I think the tool is working fine. It does what it, uh, it's needed. But again, the part of the, the thing of not having an undo, I think it throws everything away because, you know, if you want to correct the mistake, you don't have any other option that redoing it again or uh, working on top of the mistake. So, and that's not good. So again, guys, there you have it. Let me know what you think. This, this tool is good. You will try to use it. Not uh, what you use so far. And please, if you like this type of content, content, please consider subscribing, share the video, and like the video if you like it, right? And I see you in the next straight to the point tutorial, guys. Thank you very much. God bless you all.